Now Brooks from 191. Playing quickly as he always does from the left center of the fairway here. Good angle to this front right hole location. And that is a false back. That ball's going to hang in there. So Kepka can't hit the green either. Now Brooks by far the best position of anyone in the group. A fourth place finish a week ago. From off the green, long range, the defending champion says, remember me? Steadily risen through the world golf rankings. We mentioned up to number one in the world. He and Justin Rose were trading that spot at the end of the calendar year. And he looks the part right now. And that bunker carry he's looking to make is no issue for him at all. That ball's carrying some 310 yards. Now here's Brooks, the leader, 138. Oh, my goodness. The runner-up at the Masters and a chance to take the lead alone. Hawkeye Technology showing us right edge will work here. He pulled it. He pulled it. Ouch. Sometimes when you decel the, the putter blade just outraces the hands that much and for sure he can he can make mincemeat of this tee shot here and have a maybe a seven or eight iron into the green and right about there will work. Not show up yesterday for practice here. Brooks from 191. Now you see excellent distance control once again. Winning scores have been dramatically different under those two setups. We, don't, we weren't sure what we would get here this week. Now Kepka. Three majors. And it's one off the lead here. Three twenty to get over both of those bunkers over there. Almost. That will make his decision very easy on the second shot. Trying to dig out. Kepka's down in there. There he is. That's how deep these fairway bunkers are. Kepka about 6'3. You know, barely see his hat. But he's laid well back. Ricky Elliott giving his man the number, 133. Nice aggressive line there for Brooks Kepka. So swing off of his right to left. A cup or two out on the right. And another near miss. One of the caddies driving me around earlier this week told me it gave me the thought of there's no, the no break here at Beth Page. He called it no break Beth Page. This hole playing about as long as it can play at 167 yards today. We're going to see a lot of that. About five yards past the hole location. A lot of judgment and a little bit of luck involved in there too. Now Kepka, another chance to join the lead. Oh, and he knew it. 
Had a couple of shorter looks. Could easily be three or four under right now. He'll take two. This man tied for the lead. Defending champion Brooks Kepka on the tee at 15. This fairway doesn't exactly fit his traditional fade. And Kepka, that sounded juicy. This is his second from 205, and able to get it up there. Like I said, miss it big. Get in a spot where the gallery has trampled. If that was in that, that thicker, untouched rough, no chance he would have been able to hit that shot. I don't care, even if it's Brooks Kepka in his strength. Wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah, Turns into a good stock four there. Disheartening to follow up a, a birdie with a bogey, especially like that. As Brooks solidifies his par here on 15. Just overcut the last tee shot. Corrections made. Now Kepka. There's some eight yards closer at 160. And a good shot there. Brooks one shot off the lead right now. Should have got a nice read from that pitch shot, incidentally, that Tiger just played. Sliding from his left to right ever so slightly. Get the sense that he's due here, Steve. And the one that moved a little bit more. He's overread some of the breaks so far today, and that one moved more than he expected. And Kepka now to stay two under. So that was leading just a couple of holes ago. He indeed did learn a little something, wasn't messing around with that front right bunker. Well, better Thursday than any other day, I suppose, and a tough hole. There's going to be a lot of fours here. Kepka's second. Very careful with that and very nicely done. Kepka saves the par. And then Brooks in between with the driver. Trying to carry everything down the right hand side, which you can do, well, he can do. And look at that ball just stopped. Perfection there. This is the type of shot, and you get the sense he's the type of player that maybe like Ben Hogan would aim away from the flag stick so he doesn't hit it accidentally. Trying to miss it by a couple of inches. Kepka from 101. Great birdie opportunity here for Brooke, Brooks Kepka. And he delivers. This putt should not have much break in it. These are the type of putts that Brooks Kepka. Pours in on a regular basis. He's won back. The man to beat is looking like the man of the hour. Now tied for the lead. And look out. Way right. That's over onto the green course. Oh, whenever you're in the rough, you just want to make sure you don't short side yourself. Now Brooks. And the guy that seemed like he was in the most trouble, 
gets out of it. Maybe he was in the least trouble. He just manufactured something. He knows he's got to do something just to keep pace. Now this for the lead. Yeah, Kepka right where you imagine he should be. And now alone atop the leaderboard. The defending champion and the strongest force in major championships we've seen since Tiger himself is doing it again. So we go to the tee at the second. A moment ago, our leader, Brooks Kepka, Just an iron. The preferred position is down the left. Brooks has got 130 to the hole, but they had it at 139. All the numbers they were saying were already adjusted for the hill. That's very simple. Simplicity is the answer to complexity, Brian. And Kepka just seeing everything spinning right back toward the hole. He's a magician and another good one for the leader. <laughs> Overread it. Another golden opportunity for Brooks Kepka. And said yesterday the, the word was he's fine. There was, there's no health issues. And I think that at this point in time, we got to understand. Kepka stays at four under. Tiger's got some ground to make up. He's five behind Brooks. Yeah, I got that shot too, Tiger. Kepka, the leader alone, inside 15 feet again. Kepka already. The leader here at four under, leading alone. A chance to extend to a two shot lead. Oh, yeah, he's got another one. Kepka is off and running. Look out. This could turn into a runaway. Yeah, you can't carry right all of that. Me. That's move, no good. Move, move. And there's not even anybody in that vicinity. And this is the third now of, Fr of Francesco, or was that Brooks' second? That was Brooks' second. Short and left. Poor, poor lie there. Just could not judge it. Always love baseball players and their athleticism. Okay. Or lack thereof. Come on. Yeah. Well, Brooks, a former baseball player, and he's going to have that now left for par. Kepka had a couple of good looks down the stretch of the Masters also. This for par. So he stays bogey free for the week and just continues to lead by two. Ho hum. While there's something going on in the business, also the grinds. This piece of tape is just getting on my nerves. <laughs> that was a loss for us. <laughs> nice recovery for Brooks. He had a green light situation in his mind there, and he didn't pull it off. Here's Kepka from 174. Nearly 20 yards closer, so you see the difference in speed that Kepka has versus Tiger now. He is a career 312 hitter, can hit it to all parts of the ballpark, and has a little more speed on the base paths than you would expect. Kepka heard it, felt it, tells a funny story about this tournament back in August at Bell Reef. He kept hearing all the roars for Tiger. He kept his head up. This for birdie. And that's what he does. Rock solid. The pace of that stroke hasn't changed from the very first hole that he played today. You do have some options here with this, how lush this rough is. 
he knows that every fairway he can hit, he's only going to have maybe an eight iron down the hill anyway. So, you know, this could be some four or five iron up that right side. He's leaning. Mm. A little broken bat flare in the right. That's not what he was looking for. And Kepka's there through 14 holes. Uh, that is the end result of Brooks Kepka's shot. Kepka in another tough spot. And the toughest test he'll have left of the day for par coming up. Not sure we'll see much out of Kepka if this doesn't go in. Wonder what we'll see if it does. This to stay bogey free. Oh my goodness, he's just steely. He's a robot. How about this round from Brooks Kepka? He leads by two. But those fairway bunkers in the distance become target bunkers. They're just over 300 yards, and he's not aiming at them. He's trying to find a camera guy out there. Kepka a couple of steps closer. <laughs> and right in the center of the green. Ball comes down like a pitching wedge. Meanwhile, at the top of the leaderboard, here's this guy, Ho Hum, in another great spot. Mr. Cool himself. Two pretty good shots. And then three putts. And Kepka just doesn't back up. Hey, remember when you three putted at seven? Yeah, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I didn't make any bogeys today. A pretty big target if you're not trying to get it back all the way to this whole location. But you got to settle for a 40 footer up a steep slope if you do. This is pretty good. Right at it and right into the slope. It's going to go back, get a little worse. And now Brooks to extend the lead. though nothing forced that's that's what we've we've noticed all day he just he hasn't forced the issue well, this guy's figured it out yeah he's been everything he needs to be the lead is three with one hole left should be no issue for Brooks Kepka. oh but he's flared another one right Well, he got away with it. Where did that come from? Did that, what did that hit? Only two of five scrambling. Here was the shot from Brooks. I wouldn't expect him to have too many problems from here, even though it's long range, and he just plays right into the stereotype. Kepka, nine of 14 fairways. This will put a little bit of an exclamation point on the day. Wouldn't put it past him. One more time. Brooks Kepka is doing his own thing. He's playing his own event, and he's doing it unlike anybody else. Seven under par, 63. The second lowest round in the history of major championship golf.